So now let's talk about multi-criteria decision making. The reason why we're talking about this topic is to provide you with some means uh, when it comes to making a decision on what network technologies to use when you're designing a network. There are some elements in multi-criteria decision making. Multi-criteria decision making. First is criteria and this is what you use when you make a decision on which product is better and these are mainly important things to you when making product selection decisions. So these things could include things like cost, functionality or features, usability, and so on. So these are the things you consider when you try to make a decision or purchasing decision when it comes to the network equipment. Next is the actual rating of the products or product rating and using this you quantify your preference towards a particular product. So it's quantification of uh, one's preference toward a product. That is actually what we mean by product rating. Finally, the third element is criterion weight. So criterion weight. Next is criterion weight and using this element what you do is you pretty much say relative importance of a particular criterion so for example uh, let's say you have these three criteria cost features and usability but among these criteria there are things that are particularly important to you. So to somehow provide a way to say relative importance to these different types of criteria, you use this criterion weight. So if you are, for example, saying that cost is the most important criterion to you uh, if we have a scale of 1 through 5 I will assign number 5 to cost as a weight and I will assign relatively lower numbers to the rest of the criteria so for example, instead of assigning 5, I will assign 4 to features and then I'll assign 3 to usability. So this is how you can tell what you care most about in terms of selection criteria. So used to represent relative importance importance of a particular criterion toward the rest of the criteria 
being considered. So now let's actually try to use these elements to do a multi criteria decision making. So let's say our goal is somehow try to evaluate two different products. Uh, we have for example product A we're considering and we have another product called product B. So we have product B. So the first element we talked about was criterion or criteria when we consider these two different products. Things or the aspects of the products we are considering for comparison purposes. So in this case I would say the criteria include things like cost, features or functionality, availability. So let's say I have only three criteria and depending on which one of these criteria is the most important to me I am going to use a different set of weights so criterion weight goes right here so criterion weight is what I'm going to say here. So I'm going to use the numbers between 1 and 5. So to me cost is what's most important. So I'm going to say 5 and then the features I will give 4. Availability I'll use number 3. And for product A in addition to the criterion weight I'm going to actually have my actual rating of the product so my product rating for each product I am going to say in terms of uh, product A its cost I'll use number for example 9. So in this case the product rating I'm going to use the numbers between 1 and 10. Okay, So number 9 is pretty close to a perfect number which is 10. So same thing for the product B product rating. So in terms of the cost instead of giving 9 as what I did with product A I'm gonna give number 5 because product B is more expensive and then in terms of features I'm gonna rate product A as again maybe something like number 8 product B I am going to give about the same number and availability wise I am going to rate product A as 3 and I'm going to give some better number for product B in this case so I'm going to give 7 okay so so we have a bunch of these numbers now and for each criterion I will now compute the score so the way I compute the score is I am going to multiply the product rating number by the actual weight so that gives me for example for the cost criterion I get 45 and I do the same thing to the rest of the uh, criteria so I have these numbers 
and I do the same thing with the product B so in this case I'm going to use the same criterion weight here so I will multiply the actual rating by the criterion weight so I get that number and I apply the same formula to the rest of the numbers so as you can see I have scores for each criterion and what I do next is I will add all these numbers and get a total so I get 86 for the total score of product A and I get for example let's see what we get 78 for the score of product B so if you just compare the numbers here the winner is actually product A because it has a higher score so as you can see the winner in this case the winner in this case is product a